Let's address the elephant in the room. What's up? You were on an episode of Cart Narks. Yes, I was. Was that authentic? Did you yes. run into them? That wasn't planned? Did I not tell you about this? Joe, okay, first <laughs> off, huge Cart Narks fan. I've watched it nonstop, talked about it on Unfiltered many, many times. Um, and usually the videos, from what I've understood from the videos I've seen, he's like all across America or like sometimes in middle America. Does he travel he's never in L.A.? Well, so I go uh, to Ralph's one day, and I'm doing a mobile order pickup. And you, you had know, a lot of a lot of a shopping lot of bags groceries, in your hand. and I remember the mobile order like pickup line was like filled with people, and like the parking lot was full. And so I parked on the side of the road, and I just walked up to the store, and I go, "I have a mobile order pickup, but the lines are full. Can you guys just bring it to me?" And they're like, "Absolutely." They give me my grocery bags, and I'm walking out, and I see this guy out there wearing a vest and like a little flag and like a pink megaphone, and I'm like. I wonder if that's cart narcs, but I'm like, there's no way that's cart narcs. It's probably some guy walking around trying to get petitions for something. And then I start getting closer and closer, Joe. Were you getting closer to try and ask him? No, I wanted to see what was on his back it, or like uh, if the if what I was reading was correct. And as I'm walking to my car, he's standing by my car, not for a cart narc situation. Thank I didn't even God. know. I Because I didn't take a cart. I did not take a cart. And right when I read the back, it says Cart Narcs. I'm like, oh my <laughs> goodness. I couldn't believe it. I, it was with my own eyes. It seemed like I manifested it because you just don't. I just couldn't believe the moment was happening right in front of me. Like, this is now happening, Cart Narcs. And then I go, are you Cart Narcs? He goes, I am sure I am. Skip the elite doo doo. But he was very focused, though, on. Uh, the person he was busting. My biggest regret, Joe, is that I wish I got a little bit more involved. But I think in that moment he was very like, Thank hi, nice to meet you, but I need to be focused on making my own content kind of a thing. Is he a content creator or is he a policeman? What's his deal? Uh is what's his deal? He's a vigilante. <laughs> that's 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 what that's what he is. I mean, he is out there to um harass and exploit <laughs> Um, the biggest fault in uh, the morality of man. And that's uh, it's pe there's people who return their cards and people who don't return their cards. And I think it's a huge reflection on the type of person that you are. Because have you ever read the children's book, If Everybody, well, If Everybody Did It? It's a, it's a great kid's book that teaches just like the consequence of like, we have to have a bit of order and civility in our own life. If nobody returned their cart, it would be an entire mess in the parking lot. So this guy's the Batman to you. Uh, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Some people, though, are very anti-cart narcs, which I think is, like, very strange. Like, you don't know what someone's going through, man. So maybe let's not harass people and exploit them on the internet. Like, okay, sure. Like, but what makes this person so entitled and above it all that they don't – they can't walk – 10 feet and put their cart in the uh the cart stall does he harass them as soon as he sees them well he goes no he doesn't he goes why don't you return your cart and they're like get the fuck away from me that someone else can do the job then he throws the magnet usually he doesn't like i don't think he does it immediately but he asks the question why can't they and like you forgot to return your cart and then he puts the the sticker on a magnetic sticker by the way so these people you know what no but there's a common truth he taps on. Rarely are these people like, oh, you're right. Silly me. They're all assholes. And I think that's a big reflection to go that these assholes exist. Those people exist in real life. And they need to be exposed. Because it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's the, it's the, I don't know. It's just the duality of man. There's people who return their cards and people who don't. Why don't you tag team with them? Go help uh, them. I would, Joe, I would never do that. You can't confront a stranger about that? Uh, can he's you imagine? Shot no, he looks like he's wearing like a bulletproof vest. He needs like, to. W the vest he's wearing, it's like bulletproof style. No, it takes some guts to do that. Like, no, 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 no. What Those was are he crazy doing? people. Was he on tour doing this? Um, Why was I he bet here? He, I, I bet he probably had a business trip and he came out here. I know he's been on Dr. Phil before. I really did not get to interact with him that much. And it's interesting when the video came out, I'm the thumbnail. Yeah, it's as you go. <laughs> And I, do, and I don't know if he uploaded it just, you know, as a regular video. And then everyone was like, that's Matt King. And then he changed it. Mm -hmm. And then he uh, uh, just, yeah, altered it. That's so funny.
It's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Would you have been mortified if he came up to you? Like you were just having a bed. Oh day. well, you know. Oh well, one. I would never leave a cart not re- not return ever, ever, ever. But if it did, I would totally laugh about. It, be like, oh my god, I'm a huge fan of your videos because I've seen that happen sometimes. People where, recognize him, and he's busted them, and they've been good sports about it. Just be a good sport, okay? Like I understand people make mistakes. Sometimes you're lazy. You'll forget to do something, and you get busted for it. Own it. But I think it's just funny people who get angry over doing something that simple and that kind. Because imagine if you walked out in in the in a your car's all scuffed up because there was just a a loose cart and it ran into yours. That's what that that happens when you you leave a cart out. The wind's gonna take it. It's gonna move around. Someone's gonna run into it. What makes you think you are so special to not return a cart? I just struggle with that all the time, which is why I love the videos. 